Marion Easter Cotman spends every day behind the wheel of her 378 Peterbilt truck. I love the freedom. I love every day my office changes. Marion had done landscaping and office computer sales before going to school to learn truck driving. At first, she hauled grain and auto parts before deciding to buy her own truck. Today, she carries shipping containers back and forth from the port to stores, farms, manufacturers, or wherever the client directs. It's long days, but great pay. I knew what the advantages of the paycheck was in taking care of my kids, and I just wanted better for myself, and I wanted better for my, my children. I bought my own home, cars, health insurance, the whole nine yards for my children. Everything they need, need in their life. Christina Saunders went to college to become a school teacher. I love math, I love science, um, so that was kind of the only route I really thought about. But it wasn't for her. So not long after leaving the classroom, Christina was on a pier, rising quickly to become the day-to-day -day manager of a small public port that loads and unloads this barge, which sails each day between Richmond and Norfolk, Virginia. Right now we're doing between six and 700 uh, containers moving back and forth a week. Most of Christina's co-workers and customers are men, but she has earned their respect. I hear that it's a man's world and I see that it's a man's world, but I don't feel that it's a man's world. As long as our customer's successful, we're successful, which gives everyone else room to advance. And the customers Latashi Brooks serves are among the nation's largest. Walmart, Amazon, and many more count on Latashi and her colleagues at Damco to ensure their shipments clear customs and arrive at specific destinations, which could be one of Damco's own warehouses. If you want to work in transportation, if you want to be an analyst, we have engineering, we have safety. There's something for everyone inside of the supply chain. If you are into the logistics aspect, and that's what you want to do, you know, rail is a good place to be. Tracy Tidwell was a transportation coordinator in the Army for seven years, loading planes and ships with military equipment. Today, she is a quarter century into her second career with Norfolk Southern Railroad, where she rose from locomotive engineer to become the first female superintendent of Lambert's Point, one of the largest coal piers in the world. We ship millions of tons of coal, every year through this facility. Some 15 million tons actually to ports around the world. With all that responsibility and personal growth have come significant financial rewards. I've been able to buy houses, cars, send my daughter to college. She has a master's degree. You know, it, it's, it's been very good. You are able to make your mark in a male dominant industry that actually moves the world. Make the smart choice. Southeastern Maritime and Transportation Center. Go to maritime-technology.org.